Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Tinker Landon and this is Crash Landing. And I'm just grabbing some water. You see, we need to head towards the town to get some stuff for our, you know, to uh, complete our build. Well, not to complete our build, but to continue our build. And the problem with that is we still need a few supplies before we can really go and uh, survive in the town. I want to make sure I have them before I head in. So, let's go ahead and make some of those essential survival items now. Now, while I've been off camera, I've gone ahead and I've made a plenty of sand so that I can, uh, you know, so that I can grind it down. And the stuff I wanted is this. Ancient spores. Yes. Well, what do these things do? Well, these lovely things, they make mycelium. Just like that. Um... I actually put my uh, I put my uh, watering can away. No, I shouldn't have done that. I'll just go ahead and grab it real quickly because I need to spread that mycelium around. Mycelium is necessary for the next part of our build because it's used to make witch water. And witch water is used to make soul sand. And soul sand is used to make nether quartz. And nether quartz is used to make the sink shell. So you know, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a get this to get this to get this to get this type of thing going on, but it's working. All right, and we will need a barrel, so I'll just pop right over here. There we go. Barrel get. Pop that sucker down. Now, what we do is we just take water. And, when there's water on mycelium, it turns into witch water. And as you can see, it actually turns pretty fast. When you stick sand in, it becomes soul sand. Very good. Let's go ahead and speed things up a bit by grabbing a few of these guys. Oh, as you can see, it also makes mushrooms. Very nice. All right, we just have ourselves a few more barrels down now. We're gonna go ahead and make eight of these. That should be enough to get us all the quartz that we need. Because when we sift this stuff, it actually produces quite a bit of never quartz. There's a chance it won't get us enough stuff, but yeah, it'll, it'll probably will. So, yeah, we're, we should be good. Alright, I'll pick you back up because I am going to need you later. Oh, yes. Good, and we'll just go ahead and grab these mushrooms too while we're at it. It's always good to have mushrooms. Although we do have, uh, you know, we've got white mushrooms, so we probably really don't need them that much. But, eh, you know, it's good to be prepared, I guess. There we go. Now we got our soul sand. Uh, this thing won't produce it quite fast enough for my taste, so we'll just go in, sift it manually. It won't take long. It's only eight. Huzzah! Now we can see it appearing right there. We're getting one. We're actually going to need a total of. Actually, yeah, I guess we do need eight maximum. So yeah, we're going. We're guaranteed to get what we need. Wow. This was not a particularly good haul. Oh well. We can deal with it. Alright. Now, we just make ourselves some daylight sensors. Like that. Pop them in here. Like this. Sink core. Excellent. Now then, we'll also go ahead and grab ourselves some obsidian. A couple of glass panels. And we'll also need a dab of redstone. All right. We have ourselves a second shell constructor. Now, we're going to need some power for this thing. As you can see, this thing's sort of running out. So we're going to want to get ourselves some generators, too. Those are pretty easy, though. Wow, I only have one iron. Well, I can fix that. 
let's see here. Hey, that will start burning. Oh. I had one more thing to uh, sift and I didn't even notice. <laughs> All right. While that's cooking, I'll just take a quick nap. Cool. Hmm, how many generators do we want? I think three should be enough. Yeah, three generators should be enough for our purposes. So I'll just put one of you bars away. And I'm going to need six of you. Do I have any cobblestone on hand? I do not. Well, that's easy to fix. Weapon set the ready. Come back here. All right. Cobblestone get. Oh, and while I'm out here, might as well go ahead and grab this. Ah, looks like you're almost done cooking. Quite a bit of leather, if I do say so. That's useful, because we're going to need it. It's going to make so many useful things for us. All right. We're going to need three furnaces. Like so. Put those, not there, there. All right, now we have ourselves three generators. We can just toss a bunch of wood at those two. Eh, we should probably go ahead and get them, you know, generating now that I think about it. Open. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just have them start generating now. That way, they'll have some charge when we get to our destination. Cool. Now then, we need to go ahead and do a few other things. Perhaps the most important of all, the city is dangerous. And that means we want some protection, aka we want armor. Now, the problem with metal armor is that it, it's really hot, so we can't really wear that. So instead, we're going to take advantage of Pam's Harmus Craft to make a special armor. Let's see here, that should be enough. Yes, hardened leather. All right, we're not gonna bother with the chest piece because we're always going to have the, uh, the uh, camel pack on, or perhaps a jet pack. Either way. These though, they give us equivalent to steel armor, but only the amount of heat of leather armor, which is exactly what we needed. Hmm. Looks like they could also use some water. Not a problem. Fill back up. How much water do we have anyway? Hmm, we're gonna need to get some more, aren't we? Oh well. Oh yes, we are definitely gonna need more water before we head out. Okay, we'll have to get onto that. Oh, there's nothing that a pair of shears can't fix though. For now though, let's go ahead and instead look into a few other things that we need. These are going to be received from Quest Rewards. Uh, this one. Yes, here it is. Leadstone Thruster. And all, the, all we have to do to get it is to make a bunch of metals. Sweet. Well, we can do that. Well, let's see here. We've already got tin, so we need copper. We need lead. Silver and gold. And we need some a lot of gold for another quest. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get that too while we're at it. Alright then. And I will cook you up here. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and get you a 
cooking too. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. Fortunately, we got plenty of wood on hand. And you, sir, will be enough. And while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and look at some other quests we need to do. Like, say, blending ores. Hmm, or perhaps even better, salvage operation. Now, this is the quest chain for going ahead and actually fixing things in town. You know, getting stuff in town. We're going to need two camel packs, hardened portable tank, bag of holding, hang glider, and a tin hammer. Well, the tin hammer is pretty easy to do right now. All I need to do is just grab a little tin, head over to our handy dandy crafting station, and away we go. There we go. And now we need a hang glider. That's also not so hard. And we can use those leadstone thrusters from the other quest to work with our hang glider to achieve height, which we can use to get there very easily. You know, keep hang gliding. Uh, I need another stick, don't I? Yes, I do. Hang glider get. Awesome. Next up, the golden bag of holding. Uh, we need a little more gold for that. And camel pack. Well, we're going to need them full of water. But I can go ahead and at least make it. Uh, it's good to have plenty of leather on hand. While we're at it. Hmm, I am definitely going to need a little bit more iron to make my, uh, to make my jetpack. Actually, let's not make too much iron. No, I need plenty of iron. Yeah, because I'm going to need to make... Yeah, because I'm going to need to make some more shears for water. Yes, so we will get you. There we go. Now then, let's go ahead and make ourselves a bag of holding. It's not too hard. All we need... Ah, here it is. Enough string to make some wool. Do we have a chest on hand? What? We really don't? No problem, we can make one. Okay, there's that. Four pieces of wool and the expensive, expensive part. Block of gold. And we will wrap it up like this. Golden bag of holding. And that camel pack, because we just need the water. We don't have lots of water. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. We do, however, have the stuff we need to make the other quest line. So let's go back to basic survival. Excellent. We're going to need a little more leather. Oh, we've already got the leathers in hand. Now, to make our jetpack, first thing we need to do is we need to make this holding clasp. Leather strap, it's called. And we need one of these guys to power it, or at least to hold the power for the thrusters. We pop our thrusters in here, add lead, jetpack get. This will work wonderfully with our hang glider. Alright, so we've got that. And while we're at it, why don't we just go ahead and blend some ores. Yeah, these eyes aren't too hard to get. We need to blend them anyway. We need to blend this. I thought I had more iron. Oh, there's that last piece. Don't need you. I need you. So yeah, we definitely need to make a little more water and then we will be ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be ready to go. So I'll be back when we're there. See you soon. And we're back. We have some water. Most excellent. Time to go ahead and complete the last phase of this quest. 
hardened portable tank and let's see here there's one last thing we need to do we need to go ahead oh, we're gonna need to put this guy down like so oh and get one bit of water two full camel packs time to turn this quest in Right, oh, and we got two water bottles out of it, which we're probably, which we can just store in here. Of course, we'll want to bring this guy with us. All right, we're ready to head off. Last check, put everything we don't need back where it belongs. All these hearts can stay behind, and I'm not going to be using my gun this particular time. Yes. This is good. We are ready to go and head out. Don our armor. Uh, top off my uh, thirst. And engage our backpack. Or excuse me, not our backpack, our jetpack. Away we go. Um, that is an unloaded chunk. I wonder if I can hang glide over an unloaded chunk. I cannot hang glide over an unloaded chunk. That's why it's unloaded. I will have to make a detour. And a detour has been made. All right, now. In order to get to the city, we're going to actually have to get a good ways into the city. Because if we don't, then it won't spawn. Should If we can get to the spawn area, which should be somewhere you know, around in here. A little bit more north, I think. And then it's just going to pop in all around us. Oh, we're sweating. Hmm. Should be popping in soon. City. There he goes. All right, let's head immediately back to the back end. Hmm. This looks like it might be a useful area. We want some place nice and high so that it's safe. All right, let's get our water back up. Uh, unfortunately, there does not appear to be an elevator. Oh, elevator would have been great. Hmm, is there an elevator under one of these? I think this is maybe a tall building with no elevator. See, what I want to do, get, what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to establish a safe area. And preferably a safe area in a relatively high building. That way, we can elevate her up and easily glide back without having to burn off so much of our jetpack fuel. But there is no elevator here, so yeah, no, we're not doing that one. Now that building over there, that one looks a little bit more promising, yes. Let's go ahead and... Oh dear. That's a bad sound. That's a very bad sound. Okay. We probably got more... Well, we definitely have a blaze down there. We could probably take it. I am on fire. I am on fire. Okay. I, I got heat struck too. That was not good. That was so not good. Whew. Still, this area would be a great place to make our base. 
We should probably, well, while we're healing, we'll just go ahead and clear this out. Oh, no. There are more. Damn it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, and I don't have nearly enough. Yeah, I don't have nearly enough help to take that on. This fire's nasty. Uh, did I bring a bucket? I did not bring a bucket. Would have been smart to bring a bucket because then, you know, I could have just dumped water on myself and put out the fire. Gotta heal up. Uh, probably because I'm got so much heat in my system. Uh, well, it gives me a chance to clear out some debris from this area, I guess. Oh man, that's a lot of places. They're not gonna be happy to see me either. All right. Time to candle this place up. This is our area. Let's put our light sources here to show it. Yeah. And since this is our area, let's go ahead and put in some other stuff here. Things we might want. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, say, a sink shell. Yes. Oh, where do you want to put that? We totally forgot to bring power for our sink shell, didn't we? Uh, man, really? Really? Okay. See, the reason I wanted to bring the sink shell here was in case I get killed in the city, I'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, immediately reappear in the city. It gets to night while those blazes are still there. Uh, I wish I brought my gun. Uh, let's see if I can fly over here. I can get a view of uh, what's going on over there. Oh, damn. That is a lot of blazes. That was definitely a spider, all right. Oh, uh, great. All right, let's get some light up here. I'm going to have to jump through the back. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. Well, huh? ladies and gentlemen, our first trip into the city. Let's get you started, and yeah. Well, I'm Landon, and I've been playing Crash Landing. I'll see you guys in the next episode.